More than a year into the pandemic and scientists around the world are still learning new information about how COVID-19 affects the body. Right here at home, UTSA researchers have uncovered evidence that the virus that causes COVID-19 could enter the human brain. Tiffany Huerta spoke with a lead researcher about their discovery and the technology used to uncover this. A UTSA research team wanted to know if the virus that causes COVID-19 could enter the brain. Jenny Shea, a professor in the Department of Biology, led the research. She says in a the lab they took human stem cells and created brain organoids or tiny brains. Organoids are really small, three-dimensional brain-like tissue grown in a petri dish. And they resemble the developing human brain. Shea says they collaborated with scientists from the Texas Biomedical Institute who are growing the live virus. We brought our organoids over to Texas Biomed and we infected them with very, very small amounts of SARS-CoV-2. We found that there was infection. The virus was entering the organoids. The organoids have different types of cells. They discovered it was affecting the glial cells. Shea says these cells act as a barrier to the brain to protect against viruses and other pathogens. The organoids they studied resembled a baby's brain during its second or third trimester of development. I am suggesting, based on our work, is that we pay close attention to the babies that are being born for mothers who are infected with COVID-19. And we continue to watch for them. We continue to monitor the signs of their brain function. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.